the way he played once Dauphin got that tying goal, sent us to overtime. I was definitely concerned when we went on the penalty kill after Ben Sherratt's penalty. I was like, Oh boy, here we go. Right. And then sure enough, uh, the boys were able to kill that off. And I figured if they kill that off, they're going to have a chance to win. And they, and they, they got it done. Mm-hmm. And Primo played well on that penalty kill too. And, and they had, they had an extended five on three remember. Uh, and another kid that played really well on that five on three was amazing was Romanov. Yep. Um, I mean, he blocked a couple of shots sliding across, you know, to the, the two pad stack, you know, like the old goalies <laughs> used to do, or like yep. E. Carbono used to do, you know, throw himself in front of pucks like that. So that, <laughs> that was neat. And then you see him in the bench with a big smile on his face. He's blocking shots. Actually, Mike Johnson was talking about that right um the guy's blocking shots and he's smiling on the bench he loves hockey but you know if you look at a guy like romanov he had he played the uh, 24 and a half minutes last night so only ben Chirot on defense played more than him it's nice to have something that's still watchable in terms of a product for the montreal canadians right that's what we're talking about right now oh absolutely absolutely um like the canadians just picked up kale clag right we talked about it and he struggled his first few games let's face it i mean he was turning the puck over more than the pillsbury doughboy so uh <laughs> he had more turnovers and so uh, last night was by far his best game in my opinion in the Habs uniform i mean he skated well with the puck he made sound decisions uh, with and without the puck actually he minimized the turnovers turnovers like we said uh he made the low risk plays for the most part and he joined the rush a few times um will he be a star in this league i doubt it but at least you know it was encouraging i was one of the ones who was starting to think that maybe as soon as nico is ready that he should he should be out of the lineup you know he really wasn't doing the job but when you think of it i mean he's a young guy comes to a new city a new system and it sounds like that system is not as easy as some others to follow and uh he had to get that sink in and get that in as a second nature in his game and then getting used to new teammates we saw ben charat a couple years ago when he first started the first 10 games or so were awful uh when he joined the canadians when he signed as a free agent last yeah. year we saw uh joel Edmondson going through the same struggles when he when he first started right so the for defensemen um trying to adapt to a new system, adapt to new coaches, adapt to new uh, lines mates or pairings in defense. Um, it's not as evident as we think, you know, from watching, oh, you know, but they're NHLers and they should, they know how to play hockey anyway, right? There's a lot more to it. 